What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are here in Gaming Warehouse where every game you need is in stock. Today I will be showing you how to make of the interior of your house. So if you didn't know, don't know what this house is, it is um, Matthew's house. One of the, his houses that he's built. It's a suburban house. It should look a little something like this when it's in the end. I tried to put as much detail in here as possible. Um, I even added a mirror, which I didn't use a tutorial for. I just thought about that. I've seen it before, but I didn't. I didn't know how to make it. But um, here we just. I didn't know what to do with this, so you can spruce that up, add a fish tank or whatever, do whatever you want to do with that. Um, there's also an upstairs with a nice bench right here. Another room, which is really small. I'm sorry about that, but um, it's there. Then we go over here to these two rooms that are red themed. I don't know why it chose red, but it just happened. It has a red door, everything. Um, it has a shared bathroom with a big light, a toilet. It doesn't have a shower, so everyone in this house will be smelling very, very stinky. Um, there's not a bathroom in this house that has a shower, so I didn't keep that in mind. But um, we have the other room too that has a desk, and it's a little bit more cramped, but it has more detail inside of it. But um, if we go outside, you will eventually see the basement if we go over here. In the basement, we have an at-home gym. It has yoga mats, a punching bag, uh, a bench lift, um, a treadmill, and a pull-up bar. And that is pretty much it for the inside of your house. Uh, let's get to it. You are going to need spruce wood planks, stone bricks, light blue concrete, an inner rod, a chain, black concrete, polished deep state slayers, polished deep state slabs, iron trap doors, quartz, smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stair, and gray carpet. That is all I can think of for now. But what you guys want to do is go to the right side of your house, where, right here. Go to where your basement will be. And I suggest digging down at least, let's see, how many blocks is this? One, two, three. At least three blocks down. And uh, the way that Matthew made his house is that the foundation would actually be right here. So your roof or slash shilling, ceiling um, will be at the fourth block, giving you three blocks of space. So what you guys want to do now, actually, is first fill in the whole entire um, area of this right here with spruce planks. And when I do that, I'll get back to you. And I, I think I actually want to try this cool transition. I don't know how it's going to work, but um, here we go. Okay, so here is where my mic cut out, but um, either way I was just talking about how that's the garage and we don't have to fill that in with, um, we're going to have to fill that in with stone, but you want to go down here where your uh, place is over here, I don't know what I'm talking about right now, but fill the floor in with spruce wood planks, and it doesn't have to be spruce wood planks, it can be any material that you guys would like. Um, I was thinking about extending the stairs, but I also thought about the... Um, wall being right there oh I guess I did keep it but you want to fill it with um, stone bricks or once again any material that looks like a brick in this case I will be using stone bricks so um turns out once again like I was muted and so I started talking about a bunch of random stuff and stuff that wasn't equivalent but we're just gonna fill this wall in with stone bricks this whole entire wall right here um and it should just be full of stone bricks just like this just like that and then and then after that we're gonna make an archway um, three block archway just a three by three archway and you bring it across the top and you um, simply just um, add any type of door that you guys want to have in there but I decided I would like to choose the acacia door Right here, I'm pounding it out for you guys. I don't know why I am, but I am. But once again, acacia door in the middle of that three-block archway. As you guys will see in a second, I'm doing more unintentional explanation. But there you go. And you, got any, you can add any type of door. I just chose acacia door to make it look like it's not supposed to be cut off, but it is what it is. Um, now, from here, you guys are going to want to extend it to the right by five and to the left by six blocks. And you can um, remove all blocks, like all the blocks in the middle, once you guys are done with that. 
Um, you can, so pretty much, it's going to be 11 by 7. So it's going to be 11 to the left and right, and 7 to the um, back. And I actually have to stop it here, because this is where I find out that I am muted. It was at this moment he knew he messed up. Oh, I was muted this whole entire time. Okay, guys, I, sorry about that. But as you see here, there's three blocks like this. But now what you guys want to do is just add a simple three, three, and one block archway like this. And now what you want to do is go inside here and... It looks pretty tight right now, but turn to your right and go six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then if you go back to that same doorway, go to the left and go five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. And you can fill this in with stone bricks. And um, we actually need to dig this up by one more. Like this. Okay, just like that. And now what you guys want to do is bring it across by how many blocks do we want to bring it across? Oh, I guess I could show you guys actually on this block right here. Just add um, planks right here. Like so. Or actually bring it in one and extend this one down here. So in total, there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 blocks like I said and I actually got them right I uh, got them wrong there's six on this side and five on this side okay now that you guys are done with that okay now that you guys are done with that is we can extend this wall right here counting this block right here you want to go by seven so one two three four five six and seven and now you can go around to the other side and do the same thing so that is two three four five six and seven and now what you guys want to do is just bring it all the way across over here and it should eventually meet up like so and now right here what you guys want to do is take this and simply just break it away I'll be back when I'm done okay so as you see guys as you see here guys it is all the way empty so now what you guys want to do is take your walls and fill them in with the stone bricks like this um and once you're done with that I'll tell you guys what to do but I won't cut it this time I'll just let you guys watch me do this because um I've been cutting a lot and uh yeah. Enjoy this ASMR of me breaking dirt. You suck! Yeah! Okay, now that you guys are done with that. Is you want to take your spruce wood planks and as you see there monster gamer that is my matthew tobin i'll actually add a little like dot thing where, or whatever that shows you a link to his channel right now but um you guys should click on that go check him out he's um pretty cool he makes good tutorials if you guys do want to follow those um i'm not that much of a tutorial guy as you guys know when i do make tutorials they're either highly requested by people or um i feel like it's like you know it's easy it's simple enough to make a tutorial about but um it still has detail and it still looks nice so as you guys are filling this in with spruce wood planks or as i'm filling in with spruce, spruce wood planks geez i cannot talk you guys, uh, you guys should like and subscribe. We actually gained six subscribers over the past week, which was pretty good for me. I know it sounds pretty bad, but that's pretty good for me. But now you guys want to take your in rods and go to your, your right corner and add one in rod, one chain, and you can even add a, a stone brick wall, like, all the way up like this, and add another in rod. 
and here's where your um your uh what's it called treadmill will be so simply to make a treadmill is um take your polished deep space slabs and i actually realized that i don't have something which is the quartz blocks so we can go grab those real quick like so and so once you have these two polished deep slate um slabs just place one block of quartz and then i need to go grab my smooth quartz uh stair again and um then what you guys want to do is add a backwards facing which this might be hard to do oh it actually i did it first try is add a nice uh upside or backwards um smooth quartz stair like this and now what you guys want to do is place your iron trap doors on each side where you can. As you see, there's obviously a um, wall right here. But now what you guys want to do is you can get rid of your iron trap door. Scroll all the way down. I um, forgot to mention this as well. And take your levers. Dig onto the floor. Like this. And simply just um, turn them on like this with using the levers. And um, I suggest going down three blocks while you do this because this is just easier. And you make sure you guys place them directly on the block that the trap door is on. So, for example, you place it on this block. You want to place it on that same exact block but underneath it. Like so. And then you can fill it in. And just like that, you have um, a nice treadmill. And one thing that I do like to do is add... Um, a picture just to make it look like you know the uh, entrance to an electric treadmill if you guys do have electric treadmills that like like um, what's it called i forgot what it was called but there's treadmills that have uh pictures and stuff so you guys can have that and this is my favorite painting on minecraft so that's why i chose this but um you can just have that right here and now what we want to do is go and grab our gray carpet like this go down here and place it all around the um treadmill and this is like a, a mat just to keep you safe you could also place it under here like this so pretty much this whole entire side will be filled with gray carpet and what you want to do is grab grab your um gray wool and place it under the trap door blocks never mind actually that wouldn't work i forgot that, that wouldn't work my bad guys luckily i actually had a something right here but um ooh, new plan new plan guys so it would actually work if we just turn these into gray carpet i didn't have that in design but um i just realized that it would work and uh it actually wouldn't look that bad so let me grab, let me replace my stone bricks because you guys don't need that anymore. So if you guys want to remove that, you can do that too. But um, my trap doors, where are they at? Here we are, right here. And just replace these blocks that you see here with gray wool, like this. And do that same thing but with gray wool blocks and they still work and it gives you effect the effect that the carpet or that the treadmill is on the carpet like this and boom just like that it looks 10 times better and you can fill that in as well and just like that that whole side is complete so now what you guys want to do is go um actually we can clear our inventory real quick and what we're going to need for this side is our uh, light blue concrete, our end rods, our polished deep slate stairs, our polished deep slate slab, and I one thing that I forgot to add as well, which I am sorry about, is our red concrete and a chain. Okay, now that you guys are done with that, is where you see this door. You guys are going to want to count one, two blocks. Go to diagonal to the right by one and place a two block yoga mat like this. You can add one or two. In this case, I will add two, like so. Then, what you guys, oh, actually, it's three blocks. Sorry about that, guys. 
Now what you guys want to do is take your Paula Steve stairs. Add a Paula Steve Slate, uh, upside down Paula Steve Slate Slayer. Add a slab like this. And you can place a placeholder block. And then do something that looks like that. Take your black concrete. And this will look like, uh, um, just like, uh, what's it called? A, a weight. And place it like this. And it looks like something that you could uh, actually bench press. Or bench lift or whatever it's called. I, I'm, I'm not that good with uh, weight names I just do the weights you know whatever but you can add two blocks of red concrete and a chain connecting to the ceiling and that looks like a punching bag and here your basement is actually done it's complete just like that we have our basement and what you guys actually could do is you could extend this wall over like this but I suggest not doing that but just add an acacia door and boom just like that your basement is complete. Now, I'll see you guys when we go to the top. Okay, guys. So, we are going to start on the first floor. This, is, this does not include the garage because the garage is pretty much just filling it in with um, stone. So, I, I will show you guys that how to do that at the end. But, I just want to focus on the main floors before I run out of time here. So, what you guys are going to need for the first floor is spruce wood planks, light blue wool, smooth quartz slab, birch planks, gray carpet, light blue carpet, white carpet, smooth quartz blocks, a polished black snow button, an Ida frame, um, a water bucket, a cauldron, a furnace, a tri trip wire hook, and um, a smooth quartz slab. So now that, you guys wanted, now that you guys are done with that is we can take this over here is and where you see this door right here is we can just extend um or have birch planks around it just like this and eventually what we're going to do is have our floor be right here so if you guys do want to mark that out you can always just have something like this that just goes around the peri perimeter so it doesn't obstruct your view of anything and stuff like that just like that and where you see this gap Fill that in with birch planks, just like so. All right, we can also fill in this wall over here. And if you want, if you guys somehow find a way to add a door there, you can always do that. But I just don't think that it would work. But um, yeah. Either way, now what you guys want to do is where you see this birch wood plank. I mean, where you see the end of the mangrove door, sorry. You want to take your birch wood planks and extend it by um, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, you want to extend it back by um, five, six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now what you guys want to do, now that you're done with that, is extend it by five or by six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you should have a little room like this. Small bathroom just for a toilet, a mirror, and a little bit of extra space here. Now what you can do is extend this by another three blocks. And it should make a little box around um, around where your bathroom would be. And we're going to furnish this later. I just want to get the main layout done. I have some furnish furnishing items inside of uh, my inventory right now. But I just want to, for now, just make the layout. And now where you see this middle block, you can remove that and place any door there. Um, I would suggest making one that doesn't have windows, so like mangrove, a birch door, a spruce door, um, a crimson door, or a warped door. But I highly suggest not using those because uh, crimson and warped, they have like different textures. Warped, might, I mean, crimson might be okay, but definitely don't use warped. But now that we're here, is you want to find this window right here to the um, right of the door. And line, take your light blue wool and line it up with these quartz blocks like this. And it should look like that. Take your smooth quartz slab, add two in the middle, just like that. Leave a gap of two, one, two. And then on the third block, you want to do, the, do it again. But this time, you want to add a back like this. 
that should give you like a mini U, or if you look at to the look at it to the side, it looks like a C. And you want to add your smooth chord slab in the middle. And now, or you could actually let's extend it back one so it gives you guys a little bit more space to um work with as far as the carpet and stuff like that. It should look so something a little bit like that. And now we want what we want to do is go to this um take your smooth chords block, go all the way to this corner over here. It just extend it until it reaches the couch, just like this. And what we could do is we we can delete some of this later, but just place um, stone buttons all around like this. And now, when um, if you see this window right here, just above it, we're just going to be placing some more cabinets. And these just look like cabinets, of course. So do the same thing, and it should look uh, something a little bit like this. And now what you guys want to do is go and get your cauldron and your bucket of water. And now what we can do is where you see this block and where this cauldron wouldn't line up. Well, I should actually say this. Right in front of the window, what you want to um, take out two quartz blocks and fill them with um, water like this. Or take, remove the two quartz blocks, place two cauldrons down, and fill them both with water. I don't know why, but I can't speak today. But um, now what you guys are wanting to do is going to grab your furnace. And um, where, so if you look at it from this way, there should be two blocks. So one, two, until you place a two block furnace like this. And what you guys can do is go get your quartz slab, I mean, not quartz slab, quartz stairs, and um, place them like this. And this is like an oven hood. Um, which is actually used to protect you from smoke and stuff. And while this roof does not have a chimney, I do not think. No, it does not have a chimney. You could always add one to this roof or just deal with it and know that it's not Minecraft. I mean, that it is Minecraft and it doesn't have to be realistic. But what we're going to want to do is take your light blue car carpet, and it really doesn't matter. I know you guys might want to do the exact same thing as me, but it really doesn't matter. And we're just going to take it in a three-block area and just go all the way to this door over here and put it in sections because um, remember we have three blocks of um, I mean three different carpets and then you can also take it around to the couch area and make sure try not to get it in a par pattern um, just to ha try to have it random just like this take your gray par carpet and do the same thing in a three block area like so then do this like this and add um take your white carpet now i should say and add white carpet all the way in these blank areas and what this will do is actually brighten it up i know you guys might not think it does but adding white brightens things up a lot it's just like that you have a good looking carpet that extends all the way around and what you guys can do is where you see this end right here you can also end it, and it should end up lining up with that quartz window, and boom, just like that, we have it done. And on the second block to the end, we can have that for the garage, and you can actually clear this out, these uh, spruce planks out, just like this, and this is where your steps would be, so you go to the garage. But now what you guys want to do, is take your smooth quartz stairs, and add them to the top, like this. And what I suggest doing is adding under, um, adding smooth quartz stairs under the uh, existing stairs. And they should look a little something like this. So now what you guys want to do is we can uh, fill in this roof. And I'll tell you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, so before I'm done filling this in, where you see this wall, it, it'll just help to add a birch, uh, wall, birch wood plank wall right th like this. Um, it'll just help you line up things later and you can just add a door like right there it just helps line up things later in the future for your uh your blue room right here but uh yeah p.s if i sound sick that is because i am sick i am still sick um to this day i uh the reason that you guys have seen so many videos and it probably looks like i've been sick for a while is because i have pre-recorded a ton of videos just because um I was just, you know, bored, recording videos, doing my YouTuber thing, 
and so I just rec pre-recorded a bunch of videos, so, um, yeah, that is why, and we are actually done with this just like that, so, now what we want to do is clear your inventory once again, get your black stained glass panes and your birch wood planks, and just add black stained glass around this. And now, what we can do, let's see what we can, I, actually, I, I'll, I'll tell you guys when I'm done. Okay, I am done, and the materials you guys are going to need for the upstairs are blue concrete, blue wool, blue carpet, a blue bed, red concrete, red wool, red carpet, and a red bed, and of course, birch wood planks, and that is not all that we're going to need, but that is just the basis of it for your, um, the start of your room. We are also going to need, like, um, polished blackstone buttons, flower pots, um, any type of flower, um, uh, let's, uh, let's see, what else? Sea lanterns, nether, um, nether, I forgot what it's called, but red nether brick stairs, that's what it's called, um, quartz slab, and I think that's it, that might not be it, but, um, yeah, so what you guys are going to do is, where you see this, these two windows line up in the middle, you guys are going to do, what you guys are going to want to do, is extend this all the way until you, uh, equalize with this and it should give you um a one two three four five block gap from this window right here and now what you guys want to do is going speaking of this window is go to this window add a wall right here and extend it just like this where you see these could to connect just add it like this and it should look a little something like this and now what we are going to want to do is you can actually divide this, ooh, I think I made this too long, yes, I did make it too long, it should be like this, just remove this wall black back by one, but divide it like this, and like this, to where this one goes all the way, and should line up with this right here, and this one goes all the way, and should not line up with this, just like so, add a door in the middle of both of those, or this one actually doesn't have a middle, but just like that and what you guys can do now is go to your blue room take your blue concrete add two blocks in the corner like this uh, mark out where your painting will be your painting is going to be right here add um two blocks right here two um blue concrete blocks add a blue bed in the middle of that take your blue carpet put it all around the bed and just like that you're done for the blue room. It's <laughs> just like that. It's that simple. So now what you're going to do is for the red room, we're going to take your red concrete and where you see this right here, we're going to extend it by two, add one right here, add a bed right here, I should say, and extend it by two again. And now what you can do is place carpet all around the bed. I suggest giving it um, a two block space like this again. Well, you don't have to, but just like this. And it should give you something that looks a little bit like this. And we can actually, let's fill in our roof real quick. I'll be back when I'm done with that. And remember, it's white concrete. Okay, now that you guys are done filling the roof, let's take your virtual planks and, of course, fill it all the way to the top. Um, like this. And in total, it should be two blocks up like this. Sorry, guys, for this uh, not-so-good uh, tutorial. Once again, I am not a tutorial guy, I just build, and I don't really go about explaining how I did things, I just do it and, uh, go. And where you see, actually, guys, where you see this thing right here, 
is you guys are just going to want to add spruce wood planks like this. Ooh, I have noticed something. Yes. Okay, so extend, take this ball, wall and extend it back by one like this to where this stone brick is actually showing. Like so. And uh, boom, just like that. It looks better already. And uh, yes, we are done with this room. So what you guys can do is take your sea lanterns, actually, and your uh, red nether book uh, slabs, or stairs, I should say. Sorry, again. And um, so you're going to place two sea lanterns in the middle and place upside down um, uh, red nether brick stairs all the way around it. And it should give you this semi-cool light fixture. Yes, it is off-center, but I didn't know what to do with that, so, I mean, you guys could make it like this, to where now there's going to be a, a good, a good center, but, like, it just looks thick, so, I don't know, you guys can do what you guys want to do with that, same thing with the bathroom, um, I didn't know what to do with this, and I just tried to continue the theme going on, so... If you go here and just extend it like this. I know it doesn't look the best, but I, I didn't know what to do for this without making it too difficult to follow. So, uh, yeah. Pretty thick light, if I do say so myself. And speaking of bathroom, where you see the back right here, just fill that in. Add a space for your cauldron. Um, take your flower pot, which I did say you guys would need, so I don't feel as guilty this time for not having it ready. Um, so actually, yes, you guys are going to need candles too. But take your flower pot, your sea pickle, and uh, any flower of choice. In this um, room, I chose the rose because it is red. You guys, you guys' room don't doesn't have to be red, but I just chose it to be red. And uh, this theme, I don't know why. Blue is actually my favorite color, so I don't know why I would choose that, but I just did. Um, now what I'm going to do is grab your polished blackstone button and place them on the um, red concrete to make it look like drawers. And of course, the cauldron. We do need the cauldron with water inside of it, like so. And we can also grab the tripwire hook for some extra detail. Ooh, I did not mean to do that. Carpet. Oh, it's fine. Okay, that's cool. Let's fill it, and boom, just like that. You're done with that. Uh, take your candles and put them all the way around like this. Ooh, why isn't that working? Why no worky? Why no worky? Okay, there we go. And um, add a sea pickle right here. And boom, it just looks like stuff. I don't know what it's going to be, but obviously there's a candle and a flower pot. I don't know what the sea pickles are supposed to look like, but that's there for some reason. Um, now for the toilet. is You're going to grab smooth quartz stairs, a birch trap door, and a, um, it's a smooth quartz block. And what you guys want to do is I did use this design from TSMC, so I did not take credit for making this toilet design, but it's there. Just place a placeholder block right here. Place smooth quartz stairs. Uh, make an upside down, or not upside down, but yeah, upside down stair. And it sh should give you something like this. Add a quartz block. Add an upside down trap door like this. And you can take any button. I'm going to choose the polished blackstone button. And it's like a toilet. And like, this does flip the wrong way, but I just liked the fact that there's a hinge right here facing the toilet looking like it would actually flip the other way like how it would be this way but it doesn't I guess Minecraft hinges don't line up correctly but now what you guys are want, going to want to do is take your mangrove doors and simply just uh, place them where the air is in the areas that they need to, to be places placed in which other doorway and now what you guys can do is take your red wool your uh, smooth quartz slab pretty much the same thing that you have for this bed bedroom 
over here. And actually, I just thought of an idea. Just take this, and this, and this, and this, and pretty much just put it around the, um, inside this nightstand thing, my bob. Like that. And, uh, now what we, what we can do is go into your other room, is, and in the corner, this corner right here, is add... Well, I should probably give you guys a better uh, explanation right here. But add three in the corner like this, and add one on top with a smooth quartz slab in the middle. And it kind of looks like a bean bag. And now what you guys are going to want to do is, in the other room, we have the same problem where it's uneven. But just place a bed on either side. Add two red concretes like that. And of course, we have to decorate it like normal. Um, add your candles, add your sea pickles, do whatever. And that is pretty much it, except the light. And this light is the only room, um, that actually has an even, like, even, a uh, light fixture, I should say. And you only need it one block. Whoa, why am I placing these like this? But, should look a little something like this. Oh, never mind, it's not even. There's some over there. But it doesn't matter. That is complete for the upstairs, pretty much. What you guys are going to want to do is find the middle. There is no middle. So, go to this window right here. Go two away. Place two. Two away. Place two. And right here, you want to do the same thing. Except, um, like, you want to start it from this area. Two away. Place two. Two away. And place two. Just like that. And that is all the lighting that you guys need. Oh yeah, this room. This room is a thing. Uh, just do the same thing that we did, except from this window. Right above your bed. Add two block gap. Two. Two block gap. Two. And um, you won't be able to add one right here. So I guess you guys could add three block gap in the middle instead. Oh yes, 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 yes. Before we actually do uh, end that... And we actually do have a bathroom to make downstairs, and that is it for today's videos. So, uh, oh yeah, actually, we do have the garage as well. Let me grab an oak door. But, um, now we can just make, what was I, what was I about to make? Shoot. I think I'm slow. Oh yeah, I was just going to add a door right here. And, uh, where this area is, just add, like, a miniature bench. But go downstairs. We do have some lighting to do downstairs. And um, make the same style of toilet that we made upstairs. Like this. And like that. Take your gray carpet. Place it around the toilet. Yes, I don't know who in the right mind would put carpet inside of a bathroom. But um... Yeah, that that seemed like it would be pretty nasty and horrible and your whole entire bathroom would smell like pee all the time. But that's not a me problem. That is uh, whoever you're building this house for, which it might be you. So if you don't want to add carpet, it, well, it, it's just a video game. Deal with it. It's just a video game. But um, take your cauldron, add one in the corner, fill it with water, add a lever like this. And what you guys can do since this also has no middle is um just take a two block like this where you see right here and this acts don't delete it obviously but um what you guys want to do is you guys can grab light blocks and if you guys don't know what light blocks are I will show you guys in a second but place smooth quartz slabs all around it like this so the command that you guys are going to want to use for um, light blocks is slash give at self light underscore block one and fifteen and you don't have to use fifteen but fifteen is the highest power and it makes it look the best and there you have a light fixture and I know you guys are probably wondering like hey JM gaming warehouse where's the where's the uh, where's the big old mirror that you guys were that you were talking to me about here it is it's coming it's coming it's coming I promise it's coming um grab your white banner a loom obviously um you guys are going to want cyan dye, light blue dye, black dye, and white dye. 
and just simply put one barrier I mean one um banner inside the thing take your side or your light blue die place it at the bottom take the light blue die out place a cyan cyan in add um the cyan die take your white die then put it at the bottom again like this and take your white die again and add something like that I mean not something you need to actually add that but take your black die now and put a border around it and just like that you have a mirror sorry if I got if I was going too fast you could always pause the video if you guys need to but um take you guys uh, lanterns I and mean, you guys don't have to add lanterns you can add the same effect that we have here which actually wouldn't be that bad I should try that out I could try it um, but just place your um, quartz slabs. I don't think this house has an even structure, but um, just play, take your quartz slabs and just place um, place them evenly, which might not work all the time, but just place them evenly enough to where you can tell that at least you tried to make them even, just like this. And now what we're gonna do want to do is so right here. Okay, and this doesn't look too bad. It kind of looks realistic, I guess, but it also looks like you have quartz slabs hanging on the top of your roof, which you pretty much do, but we're not going to talk about that, but let's move on to the garage, actually. So take your light guy concrete, your, your spruce door, and your stone uh, stairs, dig it out by one block down. Like this, and just fill it in with um, like and concrete, and I think we're done. Yes, we are done. We are done with this entire house. So, if you guys did enjoy, I am uh, first off, I'm sorry that this tutorial quality was not my best. I don't know how to make tutorials, and uh, I just thought this would be a cool collab idea. So yes, I did suggest it, and I have been trying to get better at tutorials. If you guys have not noticed, I've been doing more tutorials in the past couple of uh, days. Or, well, just one from the Mexican restaurant. Which, um, if you guys do want to see an interior, make sure you guys get three likes on that video. So far, we're at two. So, we only need one more like for it, um, it to be uh, an interior. And there actually is a very, very funny part to that interior. But, uh, I guess you guys will never know unless you guys, uh, you know, just hit that like button on that on that video. And this one, of course. If you do, if you hit, let's hit three likes on this one too. If you hit three likes on this one, I will make, um, uh, what will I make? I'll make something. You guys can suggest it in the comment section below if you guys want to. But, um, I'll, I'll make some type of build. I actually have a tour. That is my 50 subscriber fi uh, special. It's a tour of my city so far. But I'll have to do that after all my, um, after all my stuff is done far as, and when I mean stuff, I mean like my, uh, my, um, my builds have come out, come out to YouTube because I would be just leaking videos and stuff and you guys wouldn't actually watch them because you've already saw what they look like before, but, um, yeah, this is you guys' garage, let's go outside, and, uh, yeah, that is it for the interior of your house. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.